spend with you You sing a song and I will listen We'll make a dance for in the kitchen I can't believe the way your laughter fills the room I wanna go with you I wanna go with you On a grand adventure We start each day with having a morning meeting here at 09. The POD, or for you <laughs> non-military people, the plan of the day. Yeah, this is where Shar, the project manager, puts out the work um, or just says, hey, if you didn't finish what you were working on, get to it. <laughs> and it also recaps what was completed the day before and just kind of any kind of get togethers or whatever we're planning on doing the rest of the day. So this is where it all starts. Yep, and this is where we get our marching orders, so we better get to it before she uh, she starts yelling. <laughs> I know, I just told you that we come Center. here for a morning meeting Left. before we get to work. Center. Okay, now putting it all As you can see, our fearless so leader punches. has us doing Five, something six, else. Seven, so we are preparing punch, to do a, um, a mob five, five, dance, so forward, a flash mob. Forward. So we'll see how this turns out later in the week. One of the big projects here for the group is to take care of some of the flooring here at the Echo Lodge. Yep. So the Echo Lodge is maintained or I guess just kind of uh, the Stephen C. Foster management has oversight of this area as well. So I'm not sure if it's part of the park or if it's just something that they took on board. It's actually pretty cool. It's, it's almost like cabins. Um, so there are all different size spaces that you can rent or you can rent the whole thing and it sleeps 40 if you run it all together. So um, what the main perk or the main job is for them to replace some of the flooring in a couple of the cabins. Yeah, what's going down is some nice wood planking that's really going to dress the place up. Another project that they did here at the Echo Lodge is to paint all the railing out front. So a couple of ladies tackled that before I got here. So that's another check that they've completed. This cabin sleeps four. Um, so it's a small one and this one's handicap accessible. They have quite a few handicap accessible cabins. So um, you can see here we're already in the kitchen. So it is a full size kitchen um, and they have pots, pans, dishes. All you need to do is bring your groceries. You can see the living area, the beds, but the best part of this whole place if you come out here is the screened in porch. Now you can't get off the porch from here, but you can definitely sit out here and hang out. I'm bringing you a quick little interview with Shar, who is one of the two founders of A Year to Volunteer. So let's start by just a quick, how did it all get started? So Phil, my husband had retired from the Navy in 2018 and he was trying to get me on a boat. And I am not a water girl. I'm not gonna spend a, a year or more on a boat. So he started thinking about maybe an RV. And I wasn't sold on the idea, but um, you know, after another year and a half of just being unfulfilled at work, mm -hmm. I said, you know what? My happiest day is when I'm volunteering for that elementary school school class. So um, let's do it. Let's get the RV and let's travel, but let's do it with a little bit of purpose. Let's mm -hmm. go to all 50 states and volunteer in each one. And all of a sudden I just said, let's take a year to volunteer. And that's kind of how it started. So this is the, the hub of the Echo Lodge. This is where you can have meetings, where you can gather, you can get together. This would be a great place for like a family reunion, a bunch of college girls getting together for the first time in years. This would be a great place. So they have bathrooms here. They have a kitchen. No, I think they're using this as their storage. And then they have little meeting or gathering areas all throughout the building. And this is right in the center. This is right in the center of all the cabins. 
on either side of the main building is this nice little porch and they have rocking chairs for you to hang out in and a lot of people use this space after hours to hook up to the wi-fi here at the main building so if you're here, there is Wi-Fi. I don't think it's in all the cabins, but you can pop over here to this section and log on. I also love this wraparound porch. It really reminds me of, I don't know, sitting outside, drinking a, a sweet tea in the south, hanging out on the front porch. You can see they are also painting the doors and the thresholds. It looks like the threshold here is finished, but they primed the door and it just needs one more coat of paint. It looks really good. So this is the porch on the opposite side I was telling you about a minute ago and we have two lovely people sanding these these awesome rocking chairs. So the goal I think is to sand and are we painting them too? Sanding them. I think sealing them. Polyurethane. Oh, okay. All right. So not painting but we are going to seal them so that way the weather stops taking a beating on them. I love it. We all know when you volunteer, you really get more out of it than you get. I think so. so. I mean, although we're doing a lot with what we're doing, yes. but yeah, it is really fulfilling and it just makes you feel like you have purpose yes. and that you're leaving something really positive behind, um, especially for RVers who use, you know, parks and, um, you know, other nonprofits that people use a lot. Yeah. It just makes you feel like you're giving something that's going to last a lot longer after oh, you yeah. leave. Hi, um, I'm Jenny Walsh and this is my husband, Mike. And uh, we're retired. In fact, I'm a newly retired. I retired at the end of December. Uh, he's been retired for a couple of years. And uh, we always had dreamed about when we, if you had asked us for the last 10 years, what are you gonna do after you retire? Our dream had always been to RV and volunteer at the national parks. But when we looked at it, you were volunteering for like three, four months. And that was a little bit more than we wanted to do. And I found here to volunteer. Oh my God, I said, this is perfect. This, this meets our needs because we can volunteer for, for two weeks and, and uh, be with some wonderful people. And so we like it because it's in our nature to give back. I, I was in education and he was a firefighter. So it's in our nature to do that. And um, we're also with all these wonderful people that are all like-minded and they're all RVers. So, you know, that's a wonderful group. RVers are fantastic people. All right, so what number project are we on right now? Right now we are in Georgia, which is project number nine wow. in, in its uh, totality, but uh, this is the first project of 2021. So. Right, now they just got started last year. So, yeah. and they are making a huge difference. <laughs> all right, so tell them how many man hours you've accrued since you started. So we haven't added up our hours for Georgia yet, but at the end of 2020, we had 10,124 wow. man hours that we had given at eight projects over six states. That is amazing. <laughs> and if you think about it, we all know state parks, national parks, all these nonprofits, mm -hmm. they're all hurting for money. There's yeah. never enough to go around to take care of things. So can you imagine how much money those hours saved for all those projects that were done? And a lot of them have projects, whether it's due to you know, the hurricanes mm -hmm. or whatever that they had sitting for years because they don't have the money or the manpower to take care of it. And actually it's funny, one thing's been consistent at every place that we have worked. They are lacking in time, money, people, yeah. or all three of them all the time. So on either end of the Echo Lodge are two large, two bedroom places that you can rent, cabins you can rent. And these are the ones that they're replacing the floor in. And this actually has, um, Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's really cool. But you can see they've already pulled the floor up here and the flooring is going to be this. So it's gonna be a huge improvement over what was here before. Yesterday, everyone did a great job in this cabin working on the floor. You can see it's almost done. We have one more piece that needs to be cut and put down here and then um, two pieces are going to go under the dishwasher but this floor is so much better than what we had before so as soon as they get those pieces cut then the appliances will go back in behind It only gets better. Oh, 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 oh,
Hi, this is our second trip with A Year to Volunteer and we've just had so much fun giving back and meeting new people and um, it's been a wonderful experience for both my husband and I. All right, so the big question is, what qualifications do you need um, to volunteer? Yeah, you need the will to, <laughs> the will and the desire to volunteer. Um, you don't even have to have an RV. If you just want to drive out for a day, we will absolutely accept that. Um, every little bit counts. And um, you want to join us, you just send us an email. We ask for a few, you know, rig details mm -hmm. and personal details. You don't have to have any skills. Um, every park needs trash picked up. Every park needs raking done. Every park needs some light painting. And other times, you know, you have demo projects and you have, you know, things that need to be built. So if you've just you know, got, you just got that giving attitude where you want to give back, come on, we'll take you. Once a bosun mate, always a bosun mate. Yep, that's what I was saying as I was doing this. <laughs> 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 I'm like, man, this brings me back. Phil is painting the flight deck. Right. <laughs> All you Navy guys, man, you know exactly what we're talking about. That's right. I remember the first time I had a seven inch roller on the side of an aircraft carrier i thought i had messed up got was being punished yep they put you in a bosun's chair and went and, and did those hogging straps right yeah it was pull you in it was definitely uh an experience man you're actually making this look better it actually looks better god yeah. i'm glad i came up with this idea <laughs> <laughs> like all good swells that's right the captain takes the credit that's right that's right, that's our job. Make them look good. Hello, I'm Brian Gray, Park Manager with Stephen Foster State Park, located inside the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge. Volunteering in state parks is an important uh, because it helps us complete a lot of jobs and tasks that are difficult for uh, a lot of these understaffed state parks. Uh, here at Stephen Foster, we only have two maintenance guys. We have a lot of facilities at the park, uh, and then we also have the Eco Lodge, Swan River Eco Lodge, located in Fargo. Year to Volunteer has helped us immensely with completing projects that would have taken us months, if not years, to do. Uh, some of those projects include replacing a rotten boardwalk, uh, actually an, an ADA accessible ramp at the Eco Lodge, doing a lot of painting, replacing some floors in two of the cabins down there. Uh, pressure washing and then here inside of Stephen Foster they also helped us build three new host sites and uh, wire some bathrooms for some heaters and did some parking lot painting uh, striping for us so um, the staff and myself are very thankful for everything that the volunteers have done for us in these past two weeks um, we uh, here at the park we have we have uh, 63 campsites nine cabins we have boat tours and boat rentals available. So look forward to having anyone come out. It's, um, it's a whole lot of people getting together to do a whole lot even more good. People are always asking us how they can help a year to volunteer if they're unable to come out and actually volunteer and lend their time. So we have the perfect idea for you. Yeah, send tools to me. And <laughs> I, no, I'm just kidding. So if you have some, some extra tools or some tools that you're thinking about getting rid of, you could always donate them to a year to volunteer is one option. Yep, and you can mail those to them or if they're too heavy and bulky, you can always email them and find out if they're gonna be in your area anytime soon and they would be happy to swing by and pick them up. Now your next option is even easier and that is send a simple gift card from Lowe's or Home Depot to Phil and Char. Yeah, because cash always helps because Phil and Char are always dipping into their, their pockets yep. um, to go buy supplies here and there. And you know, 
five dollars here, ten dollars here over time adds up. So yeah. gift cards are always welcome. And they've also bought many tools that they needed for specific jobs. So they're, you know, as their tools are expanding, their pocket is shrinking. So yeah. um, that is an excellent way to to help this group out. Yeah, and you know. If you do show up on a project and you think, well, I, or you want to show up and you think, I don't have a lot to offer, trust me, there is yeah. a job for everyone, um, every skill set, even if it's just walking through and sweeping or walking through and raking or wiping down a wall or whatever, magic erasers work wonders. <laughs> yeah. No, there is something for everyone and they appreciate everyone who comes to participate. Yeah. So if you're if you're still on the fence about it, give them a look. Check out the videos of the, the volunteer um, places they've been to and the work they've done. They're doing fantastic work yeah. throughout the country. And we couldn't be prouder to call them friend. Yeah. Right, friend? <laughs> friends, friends. We got a beautiful story.